Guys, after Cherry reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Stargate SG1. Uh, this is season nine, episode four. Yes. Okay. Let's get into the episode. You came to see me off. That's sweet. Oh, well, she's in this one. Together, I just wanted to come here myself and make sure you were thoroughly searched. You buy. This is a priceless artifact. It's priceless as the memories we share. <laughs> well, thank you. I hate long goodbyes. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Don't I even get a hug? Hmm. See, he kind of likes her. She took it back. Daniel, to make this harder than it already is. <laughs> oh. Can't blame a girl for trying. No, I can. I love this dynamic so much. More of it! I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It gives Daniel more of a chance to be like sarcastic and funny. You know, I didn't really like Daniel. Much early seasons. I felt like he had a. Uh, Where's the uh, like girlfriend? Left an hour ago. I don't know. I missed the going away party. I hope you saved me a piece of cake. I liked a lot more. She's going to get back. some work done around here. Yeah, about know. that. The whole SG one thing. You never gave me a firm answer. What do you say we make it official? Jackson. Jackson. I need a med team on level I just said 25. I liked him a lot. Now this happens. It's fucking bullshit. What happened? We're not exactly sure. But Dr. Lamb here thinks it may have something to do with those alien cuffs. Why does one assume that? Well, you were completely unresponsive when we brought you in, but your condition suddenly improved when she came back. Miss me? Yay, I did. Yes, thank you. Ba 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 So later, Dr. Jackson. Well, as evidenced by Vala's departure and Is immediate return, they can't be separated British for much more than an hour before they begin to feel British. the effects. She's if she hadn't come back when she did, I suspect they'd both be dead. I thought it was supposed to stop when they took the wristbands off. It was. Dr. Lee is theorizing that it might have something to do with the ancient communication device they found. It's possible that the two technologies brought together somehow combined to create a more permanent bond. I see. Colonel. This is a waste of time. Do me a favor, shut up. It's not like I wanted this to happen anyway. I'm being realistic. He has no idea what he's doing. I'm standing right here. He can do all the tests he wants. It's not going to get us anywhere. Look, I know we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but it's not like we have a lot of choice unless you happen to know someone else who understands this technology. You know someone? Someone who can help us? No. And yes. And wait, well, we're not done here yet. Who? Scientist who was studying the bracelets at one point. Well, let's go see. Out of the question. Why? I'd rather not say. He's the guy who stole the bracelets from, right? How dare you assume that I acquired those bracelets through anything but honest means. I may have a less than perfect reputation. You told me you stole them. <laughs> Did I? Yes. Huh. Anyway, he won't help us. Correction, he won't help you. Well, this better be quick. 45 minutes away from your girlfriend, you're gonna turn into a pumpkin and I'm gonna have to haul your ass back there. Oh my gosh! How can I help you? Inconceivable! Uh, we your expertise. Expertise? Well, you are the foremost expert on alien technology on this planet. Foremost expert? I might be among the top five. Are you familiar with these? Yes, yes. I actually owned a pair myself up until not too long ago. So you know how they work? Of course. The bracelets create a physiological bond between the wearers. They were used by the Gould. Uh, have you ever heard of the physiological bond being sustained, say, after the bracelets were removed? No. Barring some freak power surge in the bracelets themselves that might somehow transfer their effects outright, it's highly unlikely. But in the unlikely event this did happen, would you be able to sever the connection? I might be able to. Great. Could you tell us? How is she? Who? 
Ibala. We don't know any Ibala. Then I'm afraid I can't help you. Okay, maybe we know Ibala. I need to see her. Why? It's not what you think. I'm not after revenge. The truth is, the bracelets weren't the only thing she took from me. She also stole... Your heart? My heart. <laughs> Excuse me? I remember it as if it were yesterday. Some nights, we would steal away from the city, strip off our clothing, and bathe in the springs of our cotton. We would chase one another across the mossy hills and then lie naked under a door's moons and follow who would... So games. It's great, thanks. We got the picture. Those were wonderful carnal times. But that's in the past. All I ask now is that I be given the chance to see her one last time. Bring me Vala and I'll consider helping you. Alos? I thought I'd never see you again. Hello, Vala. They overpowered me. Some five, six mercenaries one morning on my way to see you. And they demanded that I steal the bracelets under penalty of death. I don't care. Arnos? Are you going to have me killed? No. The memories of what we shared and you so callously threw away will undoubtedly haunt you until the day you die. That should be punishment enough. Mm, yes, <laughs> right. That should do it. I'm over you. What I am not over, however, is the theft of my mother's necklace. I want it back. Only then am I going to tell you how to sever the link. <laughs> Be realistic. That necklace is gone. Well, then our business is done. Whoa, hang on, lover boy. We'll get your mama's necklace. Then we have a deal. I had a feeling that, like... <laughs> Like this once belonged to the first the prime of Bastet. It's completely unique, like one Wild of a kind. On and I am going to give it to you. Leave. Three you ounces of Nakwada. Huh? No? Uh, two for five! So, business not so good, huh? Well, with no planets to conquer and no cities to loot, how's the Jaffa expected to put food on the table? Listen, a mutual friend of ours was supposed to send word that we were coming. What mutual friend? Vala? Where is she? Uh, we're not sure. She said she had some business to attend to and she'd meet us back at the gate. Well, uh, she didn't call ahead? I swore the next time I saw Vala, I'd kill her where she stood. She's just made enemies That's everywhere. Do you take me for a fool? I don't know about them, but I certainly do. Hello, Inago. Nicely done on the distraction, boys. Oh, that's what we're doing. You, you didn't want to let us in on your little plan? Who would have just screwed it up? Vala! You cowardly, backstabbing, sorry excuse for a woman. How have you been? In Argo. You filthy, double-talking slug. Nice to see you, too. Obviously, they used to date. Do you remember that uh, necklace you sold me, the priceless heirloom from the house of Verena? I may have overstated its value slightly. Slightly. It was worthless. <laughs> Your one to talk. That gold force shield inhibitor turned out to be nothing more than a power coil from an obsolete cargo ship. Mm. Fortunately, I'm not here for revenge. In fact, I'm here to set things straight by buying back that worthless necklace. Why? What's your angle? You don't need to know. Well, then I guess you don't need that necklace. No deal. However, I am willing to show you how I want to square things here. I might consider buying back that useless power coil. Why would you want to buy back a power coil from an obsolete cargo ship? No necklace, no deal. I've got an idea. How about uh, straight swap? Necklace for power coil. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I have a better idea. We dig a big old pit, we drop these two in it, and we let them fight it out. I'll ask again. Deal? Deal. Deal. Of course, I don't have the power coil. We're going to have to go and get that back. Where would you unload an obsolete power coil? Sister Vecina, welcome back. Brother Caius. How are the orphans? The orphans are well, thank Grannis. And you? Well enough. 
thank Gratis. Of course, all of us continue to be grateful for your generous gift. Pilgrims from all over the system travel to see the legendary ring of Shen Mara. However, it has been a bittersweet season since, coincidentally, around the same time you made your gracious donation, mm -hmm. the shrine's most precious relic, the Levana crystal, mysteriously disappeared. No. <sighs> yes, it is shocking the depth some people will plumb. Unfortunately, I have some more bad news. It appears I was deceived, and this ring of Shen Marak is apparently a fake. I'm afraid you'll have to get rid of it. Out of the question. It's bogus. Your followers are worshipping a phony relic. Yes, but ultimately, its true worth can only be judged by the genuine faith it instills in the hearts of the many pilgrims who come to visit the shrine. And more importantly, in the charitable contributions they make while they are here. Of course, if you were willing to make a substantial contribution of your own. What do you want? I have to get out of here. I can't take it anymore. The fasting, the chanting bathing of the poor. If I have to weave one more prayer basket, I'm gonna kill someone. Blessed day. Blessed day. Oh my, you're not a real monk. He used to be a smuggler, one of the best I ever knew. Then things got a little too hot for him and he had to find religion. Well, it was a sweet racket while it lasted, until the great god Granis went and got himself executed by his own Jaffa. Since then, the number of pilgrims has been, well, significantly reduced. That's why he can't have the ring. Power coil. Whatever. The point is that it's the only thing keeping this place going. If you want to go, why not just go? Because all I got right now are the clothes on my back. I need my cargo ship. The one you borrowed. Ah. Uh. Yes, that might be a bit of a problem, but we can get you a replacement. No deal. What's so special about this particular cargo ship? Let's just say I made a few modifications of my own. You bring it to me and I'll give you the ring. Power oh. coil. Don't try anything, all right? Pilgrims of Granis may be greatly reduced in numbers, but they are more fanatical than ever. You'd have to be to be worshipping a dead god. I give the word and they will tear you to pieces before you can get halfway to the gate. Now. If you excuse me, I have morning prayers to attend to. So how do we get the ship? We can't. Why not? We've come this far. What's the problem? So let me get this straight. You need to get this ship to get the power coil, to get the necklace, to get this guy to tell you how to undo whatever is keeping you two connected. Yeah, that about sums it up. Unfortunately, that ship is now in the hands of the Lucian Alliance. The who? It's a coalition of former smugglers and mercenaries who've banded together to take advantage of the power vacuum left by the demise of the gold. The fact they've managed to form a coherent group makes them unique and a particular threat, especially to the newly formed Jaffa government. Can we contact them? They won't deal with someone they don't know. I assume they know you. Yes, but our last encounter didn't exactly go as planned. Let me guess. You screwed them and now they want to kill you. Actually, it was Daniel who messed up the deal. He tried to sell them a stolen ship. You're the one that told them they couldn't have it. The point is, if they see either of us again, they will kill us. Can we take the ship by force? You have to go up against a sizable armada. If the alternative is staying linked to you, I'm willing to take that risk. I'm sorry, Dr. Jackson, but I can't allow it. Dr. Lee's continuing his research. Hopefully, he'll be able to come up with something on his own. In the meantime, you're just going to have to learn to live with each other. <laughs> and by the way, in three days, you're coming to Washington. We are. Uh -huh. I need you to testify in front of the chairman. Your experience with the Ori could go a long way towards convincing him of the dangers headed our way. We will do our best, sir. Do you know what? You need to occasionally get up from under the dust of dead civilizations and live a little. Why don't you take me out to dinner? Look, the only way you're getting off this base is on our little side trip to Washington. If we could find a way around that, we would. Why don't we go off world? I've got a great little deal cooked up with some traders on Katana. No. We could be partners and split everything down the middle, 60-40. That's not the middle. <laughs> Hardly seems fair that your life gets to continue and my affairs are put on hold. Excuse me? I, I should be on my way to the Pegasus Galaxy right now. Oh, don't you blame that on me. It's your own curiosity and the ancient treasure that cost you a trip to Atlantis. You cuffed us together. You weren't paying attention at the time. <laughs> Look, we can point fingers all we want. The fact is, we're stuck together. So, like it or not, just gonna have to learn to get along. <laughs> Found your glasses. Hey, it doesn't use them anymore anyways.
Hello. What the hell are you doing here? Isn't this my room? No, your room is across the hall with the guard in front of it. Ah, oh, yes. They do all rather look alike, don't they? Anyhow, since I'm here, shall we make the best of it? No, we shallant. Come on, Daniel. We're both stuck here on this base and there's nothing else to do. Uh, yes, there is. There's, 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 there's sleeping, there's working, there's, there's finding a way out of this mess. What if we can't? We might have to spend the rest of our lives together. No, don't even go there. There's literally a bond between us. Some people might even find that romantic. I'm not one of those people. Am I really so repulsive? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you're not repulsive. You just... It's just that I know what you're doing. The whole sexual thing. It's defense mechanism. Really? Yeah. You live a solitary existence, you move from place to place, you never form any lasting relationships, you use sex as a weapon, to prevent yourself from forming any real emotional bonds. Textbook case. Never realized I was so transparent. I can see why you wouldn't want to become involved with someone so pathetic. It wasn't always like this, you should know. There was someone once. In fact, I was engaged. Then I was taken as a host. And even though the Tokra eventually freed me, the damage was already done. And once you have been spat on and stoned by the people of your own village, you try forming lasting relationships. Well, well just wait, wait. Please stop. All right, I'm sorry, OK? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, sometimes I just, I forget what you've been through. If you've actually been through any of that. Are you messing with me? Is it working? You get out. Go. Get out. Go. Just a word of warning. Tenet and Jop are notoriously unscrupulous traders. In other words, they're going to try to screw us before we screw them. Should be all right as long as you keep your guard up and we keep focus on what needs to be done. Close the deal, take the ship, and make sure they don't kill me. Certainly not in that order. I still think we need some more boots on the ground. And it will most certainly run a surface scan of the planet. Additional life science or any ships in orbit will only raise suspicions and jeopardize everything. Approaching the planet, run a surface scan. For life signs. Let's go greet them. This is a good plan. I'm very inspired. Yes, we have you to thank for that. Nothing more than the complete and utter desperation. I say that now, but you will miss me when I am gone. No, I'm pretty sure I won't. I will. Just like old times. Huh? My participation should not be construed as a desire to rejoin SG-1. Right. Colonel Mitchell, at times you remind me of O'Neill. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Tail. Hey, fellas. What's with all the hostility? Vala, how does it feel knowing your sorry life is about to end? I don't know. How did it feel telling the Alliance that you half-wits lost their Naquida? Whoa! No, no violence. Besides, I think the Alliance wants to hold her up as an example. Where's our reward? We have a caseload of weapons-grade refined Naquida sitting in our cargo ship. Good. Let's go get it. I will stay here with you while Jupe takes Valor and her partner to the ship. Once they've been secured, he'll return and ring the Nakwada down to you. And help noticing the absence of the caseload of refined Nakwada you guys were promising. Do you seriously think the Alliance would have entrusted us with another case after we lost the last one? So this is a double cross. What happened to upholding your reputation? Let's just say those bounty hunters won't be in a position to do any complaining. Ow. Ow. Hold still. I told you. I mean, why don't you let me do it? Uh, I can do it. Just uh, do me a favor. I need some help. Okay, well. Go to the panel by the rear exit. Okay, now what? Stay there, shut up, and let me finish. A cargo ship has you targeted. I suggest you lower your weapons. I take it we're not getting our Naquita. You're not. And so concludes our deal.
I'm picking up ships. Lots of them. Correction, that went much worse than I expected. Shouldn't we be jumping to hyperspace or something? They will pursue us. What are you doing? Kai said he customized this ship. Let's see if there's anything we can use. What's happening? Multiple energy signatures of phantom vessels. They're confusing the Alliance ships. Fine, let's go, let's go, let's go. There are two vessels pursuing us. You got anything else in that bag of tricks? I'll show you. I mean, all the other ones are just standing still. It's kind of obvious which one you are. Vala? Wait for it. Now. Pulse wave. Their power level spiked and overloaded. It should take a couple of minutes to restore primary systems, which should give us enough time to. Thanks for getting my ship back, and for not helping yourself to the swag and the ship's hidden compartments. <laughs> Wait, did you did you just say hidden compartments? <laughs> no. Excellent. Finally, I can get Mother off my back. So. So. So we had a deal, remember? Give you the necklace and you sever the link. Well, there's nothing I can do. The effect can't be countered. But you know, my guess is it'll wear off eventually on its own. So long, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Indeed. Good luck on the car. And don't be a stranger. I'll be back. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, oh, that was Stargate SG-1, uh, Season 9, Episode 4. You know, quite a funny one, with Vala having to, like... Uh, return a whole bunch of stuff that she stole. Um, yeah, I, it's funny. I enjoyed it. Um, what did you guys think? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, 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 uh.